jewelry. What the heck is this? $500? A gun. Jewelry box. Golden coin on it. Guess what? We just drove four hours and paid $700 for a 10 by 12 storage unit. Absolutely loaded. Front to back with one of the craziest backstories I've ever seen in a unit. Let's get into this and see what we got. Before I even get into the boxes, you have to understand the backstory to be as excited as I am. So one of the first things I always do right when I buy a storage unit is take the owner's name along with the city and state the unit's in, punch it into Google and see what I get. And this time we happen to get results that, well, this person was arrested for identity theft, which definitely made this quite interesting. And then we got here and guess what? We got confirmation that that is 100% the case. So no telling what we're gonna find in this unit. Let's start pulling the boxes out. Let's go ahead and pull down the first one and see what we got. What does that say on there? Roy's computer extra cabling. Extra computer cabling, all right. So let's see what that Roy's extra computer cabling looks like, if that's what it is. We gotta see if it's one of the units that's labeled correctly or everything's just kind of all over the place. Yeah, see, look at this. Does this look like extra computer cabling too? Excuse me, Q-tips are not cabling. Does it look at this computer right here? Look at this extra cabling. It's advanced, huh? Let's see what's in the bag, though. What's in here? This is like one of those office things, isn't it? Yeah. That somebody has on their desk and puts their stuff in. And then we got, well, a lot of paperwork. A lot of paper. And, oh, oh, actually, there there's the wiring. They weren't completely wrong about this one. What I can already tell by just by looking at one box, this looks like one of the units where they basically had to have someone come in their house, put everything in the boxes, and get it out of there right away. So it's probably gonna be packed just like that all the way through. Next box here, this one says computer programs. So let's see what kind of programs they have, if they're relevant or they're old, outdated things. And it says programs, disks, etc. So no telling what other stuff could be in there. It looks like old stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's see what's in here. Is this like discs or what? Yeah, these are some weird old, these are like some computer these games. games. Yeah, these are old PC games. That's cool. That's interesting. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> You're not usually here. So what is that? A Serif Page Plus Desktop publishing power made easy. Look at the Windows logo. That's so old. It's just Microsoft Windows. That's it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We have a bunch of old software here, it looks like. A bunch of really old. Double your memory. Wow. Ooh, we have magic software that can double your memory. <laughs> That's advanced. Well, these people don't understand computing because obviously you can't use software to change your hardware. Those floppy disks. These are floppy disks. We're talking old computer stuff in here. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it. What is that? That was floppy disk container. This is what you call agent computing. So I just cut open the next box. Let's see what this one is. It says books and frames. That doesn't sound too appealing. No, that's what it is. Well, it looks like at least so far we can trust their labeling. But these are nice frames. Look at the outside like of them. That. Yeah. Those are cool. There's a lot of picture frames in here. These are just like little dollar things basically for the yard sale. I don't know about the books. The books we'll have to scan and check on like eBay, Amazon, and see if they're worth anything. Cause textbooks are one of those things. This one's worth a dollar. This one's worth $200 and you have no idea unless you know. So most likely we'll scan the textbooks and just throw the frames out at the yard sale. Let's see what this is right here. It looks like maybe planning pots or something like that. But first, what's in this bag? What is this thing? All right, look at this guy. He looks uh, like he's seen better days. What creepy is witch. that? Yeah, look at his face. Her. Or her face, whatever it is. You don't know that. <laughs> You're right. But this is old stuff, so I mean, they didn't do that back then. That's true. <laughs> what is this? Professional seed starting tray. So these are like some type of planter. Uh, so we were right about that. Let's see what's in this one now. Oh boy. This looks like my favorite, guys. You see that? Woo! Christmas! Oh, it's still cake. I thought I'd already got it. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, it's Christmas, Whoa. all right. Hey. They have two tape. It's like super old Christmas, too. Anything in these? No. Rainforest, cashew, and Brazil nuts. Ooh. There's a little bean back there. What the heck? A radio stereo. <laughs> we got some old stuff in the heat. This is also empty. Hey, they used to make them bigger back then. I know, what happened? And then we got, what's in here? There's something in that thing. 
It's like wheels, wheels. or something. It's like a dresser or a mat or a bed, maybe. There's some tape and it's not even really Christmas. Bubble it's wrap. just kind of, I don't even know, just stuff. Before I pull this box out, can I point something out that I liked about this unit as well? You see how all the boxes are like individually labeled with numbers and they say key moving on it. So this, this was definitely rush packed by a moving company. So like I said, no telling what's in here. Everything in the house is in here somewhere. And before I open this box, guys, please do us a favor. Make sure you leave this video a like and give it a share, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, because it helps us a ton. Let's see what's in this one. It says master bedroom. What do you have this stuff in your bedroom for? What is this stuff? This is like just Christmas junk. This is the, pro the positive and the negative is when companies pack your house like that is they pack everything. You're getting your garbage, you're getting your trash, <laughs> you're getting your wrappers, you're getting everything. Like I'm guarantee you, we're gonna find some boxes that are just straight 100% garbage in here. They're not even nothing. Like they take everything out of the house. What is this? Might need Let's a knife for that. No, I got yeah. it. I got it. Hercules, Hercules. I got rip saran wrap. Be careful, there's a frame on the bottom. Okay, that's just a personal picture, and I'm guessing that's what these are. That's exactly what these are. God. That's a hundred percent the article I found had a picture on it. There's our lady right there in the picture. hundred percent that's who it was. Uh, let's see. These, oh, I thought these towels were gonna have something wrapped in them, but nope, they're just towels. I like this box. You see what that first thing says on there? Jewelry. Jewelry, Jewelry baby. This is where the fun part comes in when moving companies pack because they shove everything in everywhere. Like this is just some garbage. There's nothing even in it. So is this, is this a yearbook? This is not nothing. What is that? A sketchbook maybe? An old school sketchbook. We want the jewelry. We see it says jewelry, so we know it's in there somewhere. Everything else has been right. Don't be wrong about this. Writing pad, books or paper. Let's see what's in here. Oh look, see, you gotta look in these books. These are just receipts, but if they put receipts in books, there's no telling what else they'll put in books. There could definitely be money in one of those. Yeah. They could have hid money anywhere in their house and a moving company just grabbed it. There's yep. no way that they're going through all three of these units looking for whatever money they hid. No chance, no chance. So look at this. Let's see what's in this little pack right here. Oh, is this a whole camera? Let's open this up really quick. There's a lens. So we have a nice Canon lens there. All right. And I saw, I think, pretty sure I saw, oops, put the lens cap on. I'm pretty sure I saw another lens inside the bag. Oh, that's the camera, look. Nice. It's an old school Canon. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, what's this right here? This feels like it could be a, yeah, this feels like it could be another camera right here, or at least a lens or something like that. Maybe a flash? It's the flash. There it is, old school. So that'll be cool, a little thing. Everyone loves, loves the vintage cameras when we have them in our auctions. So we'll have that. Where's the jewelry as marked on the box? So this right here, is looking like. Are there any dates on those papers? I'm just curious. Okay, let's just pull one out. Uh, not that I see. Mm -hmm. Not that I see. No, just the total, yeah. total spent. So these are just some old family pictures, stuff like that. This is more of the same. More pictures. What's in here? What the heck is this? Look at that. I don't even know what that is. It's Canon brand. So that has to be part to an old camera. This has to something to do with the camera. Yeah, I don't know what, but it has to do something with it. That's weird. What is this? Ultra print. Oh my gosh. What did you find? A picture that I cannot, I cannot show either. <laughs> I unfortunately just saw that. <laughs> I literally was just a cartoon moment. I looked at it and like it just fell out of my hand. I was, why are you showing me that, man? That's just awful. But you know what I don't see anywhere? Let's take the paperwork out just to make sure the jewelry's not somewhere else in there because they've been right about everything else so far. But no, I'm not seeing any right now, unfortunately. Before I pull out the next box, I need to point two things out to you. One, this thing's locked. That's gonna be interesting. Two, I 100% can see jewelry right there inside of that tote. Now, what kind of jewelry is it gonna be? I don't know, because we got a long ways to get to it, but we know it's coming. Let's get into the next box here. Pull this one out. This one says photos on it, but maybe, oh, 
I don't like when I see the letters E N I S and the first letter is like blocked by the tape. <laughs> I don't know what. There's not many options of what could go in front of that. Dennis. I hope it's that. So this is looking like it's gonna be more paper. What is this? Be careful. Hear this ye, like, hear ye. <laughs> seriously, look at this. Old timers thing from 1937. It's a cool old photo from 1937. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So we definitely gotta look at these photos because there could be like historical photos and stuff like that. Plus there's people that co collect black and white photos for arts and crafts and things like that. So just because they're pictures doesn't mean they're completely worthless. But all these like colored random pictures like this, they'll just go back to the previous owner. So we have no use for them. Already pulled the next box over. It just says books, but you never know what kind of books they can be. Like these might be some kind of set or something. Pippin Flinks. There's a lot of them. We'll look at Transformers book in there. So we might put some of these in our auction because last time you guys really liked the manga adventure type books. They did really well for us last time. So I'm definitely not counting out. I am a legend. So it's some like good movies in here that are also Wait, books. What? Open this. Is that what? a bookmark or? Oh, what is that? Yeah. I didn't even see it. See, this is what I'm talking about though. There's so much randomness. Just a piece of paper. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, there's some older, no, there's Harry Potter down there too. So it's a lot of good books in here. We'll definitely make up some lots and what we don't think is worth the auction. We'll just take the second in Charles, which is like a used store. They buy books and we just give them all the books we can't sell and we just get credit and buy action figures with it. What do you think's in this box? Is it Christmas? Is it videos? Is it Xmas decor? Is it videos? Is it SCN Johnson that? Is it, I have no idea. Let's just cut it open and see. It went back and forth between Christmas and videos. Well, if the videos are at least DVDs, I'll be happy with them. If they're VHSs, then I might cry. Let's see. They're DVDs! A lot of them, too. So check this out. What's that? Look at that. This is a collection. It's a big old brand new collection of Roy Orbison. Uh, there's VHSs in there, too. There's a mix. So we have cassettes mixed with DVDs, mixed with VHSs. Because, look, here's a lot of DVDs, too. Yeah, but there's also a lot of VHSs. So the VHS is more than likely, unless there's some very weird old horror movie or garbage, but there are those rare ones that are worth money. So we'll definitely check them out. I'm like looking at the top of this, trying to decipher what it's telling me is in here. ACAD Quem to Zoom Media. What? Zoom modem. Um, that's a heavy modem if that's a modem. That thing's like made of brick or something. <laughs> I don't know what's in here. Let's try to find out. What's in this box here? Oh, uh, well, we see more papers. That's not a good thing. Well, what is that? That's, that's an address book, Never mind. I thought it was gonna be like a really old, some type of book, but no, it's just somebody's old address book. So that's not too interesting. Let's see what these are though. If I can get it out, it's like stuck. Come out, get out. What are okay. these? This is where all the Oh, well, they had floppy disks in them. The fact that they have floppy disks probably tells me what they are is old and outdated. But it's whatever AutoCAD is. I've never even heard of that, but I'm guessing again, it's probably some type of outdated computer software. So I see more floppy disks. And this is cards that haven't been used yet. I'm gonna start pulling boxes from the middle because honestly, I really wanna get to that jewelry tone and see what else is in there. So let's start pulling stuff from here and this box is about to come down with it. Come to me. See what's in here first. What does that even say? Stamp, stamp stuff. Ooh, do we have a stamp collection? Those are always fun. So let's see if it's that kind of stamp stuff. If we can get the box open, step one, maybe. So let's see, is it actual stamp stuff? So I'm just saying paperwork. I don't know what you're talking about. Department of Art and Design meeting. What kind of stamps are this? Not. These are literally nothing but books and paperwork all the way down. Well, that was a troll. Let's get box number 69. This one has to be lucky, right? Right. Come on, I was about to say, come on 69, but I don't think that would be very appropriate. Let's see, come on box 69. Let's see if this one's got anything in it. This one's a little swooshed. So let's see what's in there. Uh, something's wrapped up. What is it? 
So that's the question. Careful. I don't even know what it is. Like it's like some wire. Like one of these modern art pieces. It's like a piece of bent up wire on a piece of wood. You see what it? it? Yeah, what does it say on the bottom? Does it say something on the bottom? Oh, it does. Holy crap! Look at the price for it. It's copper. Sculpture slash copper. Five hundred dollars? Well, if it's not broken. Well, I mean this has to be the one box that was like somewhat smashed, of course. What's that? Now I got me curious. Let's see. What's wrapped up in the newspaper? This is what I was talking about. Yeah. That's Modern art. 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 <laughs> you want to just lean like four color pieces of wood against each other? Art. What are these? Mushrooms? They look like they giant mushrooms. They look like made out of wax. Let's see. Are they? They're candles. Oh, they are. They smell good. So the candles. There's a couple of those in there. Step those over the here. Let's see what else is in here. Try to be careful moving stuff around. Light bulbs. We're not going to be careful with light bulbs. Hey. A duck. Is that like a hunting decoy? I don't even want to sit there and try to unravel. Look at it. It's wood. It's a wooden duck hunting decoy. Those are more expensive, right? Yeah, they're older. Look at the bottom. You can tell it's definitely handcrafted out of wood. So hmm, we'll get that open in a little bit maybe and get a better look at it. What else? Is that another one? It is. Look, here's another wooden duck hunting decoy. That's pretty cool. We'll get those open, like I said, in a few minutes. Then a third? Might be a third. No. Uh, Not sure, but we'll cut that one open too. So I got the things unwrapped. Check this out first. The one longer one is actually looks like a lamp. That's like a cougar or a panther or something. So that's kind of cool. Inside there, there's like a spot for a light bulb. So that's pretty interesting. And then we have the duck decoys, which again, they're wood. You can see right here where it's like even just straight wood where some of the paint's rubbed off over the years. So this one has like a duck looking backwards. And then we got this guy who's also 100% wood. Look at his tail. His tail looks a little chipped there. But still, all wooden duck decoys. I know some of these can be worth a ton of money. So I moved a couple boxes that were just paperwork, unfortunately. Didn't want to show you no more of that. This one, though, computer games. So you know what? They got my attention, that's for sure. Ooh, look at these. These are like old school PC games. Look at that. It's from Lucasfilm Games. I never even knew they had a game company. Look at the graphics on the back of that. First absolutely shocking moment. Look at the last three of these that sold. Are you kidding me? I had no idea when we were going through these boxes. Now that's cool. That is old school right there. So what is this one here? It is Leather Goddesses. All right, is that a comic here? Is that like an instruction manual or what? Look at that. That's cool. Another Lucasfilms game. Once again, not quite as drastic, but still, I didn't think any of these had any value. I'm loving looking these games up as I edit. Why did I never knew he made games? That's Lucasfilm. I know he's just a producer of like a movie producer. I know he did Indiana oh. Jones and stuff. Personal lawyer, Starflight. Okay, honestly, I'm starting to not believe this at this point. What in the heck is going on here? Photo CD. Let's see what that is. Look at that box. You can tell it's really old. Huh. VHS. Look. Lotto-matic. Mm -hmm. If you play, play to win. This is basically telling me if I should play the lottery or not. Just, you just plug it up and it says no. Like, aw. Let me set these down right here before we go any further. What's in here? Are these like pens or something? Uh, markers. Let's see. VHS tape of some sort. There's a bunch of old looking stuff in here, isn't there? Is that all, yeah. What is this? I don't even know. A lot of old stuff in here. There's a checkbook. Little photo album? No. Note cards. And at the bottom, it looks like there's more paperwork. What is this thing? Whoa. That's some old stuff in there, that's for sure. Next one here. Let's see what's in this box. All right. A gun. A glue gun. Ah. Still a gun. Right? Yeah. I mean, technically. Oh, look. The Polaroid. One step talking camera. Talking camera. Polaroid. That's cool. You've taken your picture. Congratulations. <laughs> this is like 
breakthrough technology for its time. Oh, look, hey, look at, at all the tape you can use. Oh, sweet. Yay. <laughs> and then let's see what else we're seeing in here. A lot of weird. Look at this old computer mouse. Oh, is this one of the good ones? The, the if, ball. If you know what I'm looking for, the you know what I'm looking the for. Ball, the ball, the ball, the you ball. You went through the ball, this the life ball. in school? Yes. <laughs> Yay. This, Take it out. Who used to do this in school? Just unhook this, just take the little ball out, and just play with it. Yay! Oh, look, it's stuck. Get out. <laughs> this was the coolest thing ever. If you knew how to get this out as a kid, you were the cool kid in elementary school. Uh, and the rest of it I'm seeing is just it looks like a lot of stuff. junk. Yeah. Let's cut open this box and then we'll be able to get to the jewelry toe. I'm going to say jewelry. Jewelry, jewelry toe. Where'd the knife go? Did you hide it? <gasps> right there. I was going to say, don't lose my knife. You had it last. I don't want to get to put it on me. Let's see. It looks like books again. So if it's all books, you know, same as before. Yeah, it looks like textbooks too. And the problem with technological books is they run out so fast. Like next year, what's relevant today is not relevant anymore. So a lot of technology books don't really hold value. But we'll try to scan them and look through and make sure. But most likely, they'll probably just go to second and Charles. Now we can get to the tote with the jewelry in it. Ooh. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, look at us see right at the top. Jewelry box. There's the first jewelry box. Ooh, and it is not empty. But this one looks like their earring box. Let's take a close look at these. I don't see any markings on these. But these just look like earrings, so it's not a big deal. Set those over here. Oh, look at this bag. This is all like jewelry making supplies. It is, look at this. So apparently they made jewelry too. This whole thing is like crafting and yeah, jewelry right supplies. One of those kits. Yeah. All right, oh, look right there. You see what I see? Yep. Some, oh, this has something in it. I was about to move this aside, but it's not empty. Let's see what's in there. Like, brass? Yeah, looks like a bunch of brass. All right, I guess again, used to make jewelry. Let's look at some of these. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Those brooches? Yeah, these are all brooches. That's pretty cool. Again, I don't see markings, but. Brooch lot coming to an auction near you. Dun, 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 dun. What about this one? Ooh. Ooh that was what is that? I would say genuine hand carved ivory. 14 karat gold right there. Whoa. Look at that. That's, That's pretty really cool. That's really pretty. That is. Let's see what this one is. What does that say? Slizmers. Slizmers. I think I did pretty good. You it's better than I could have done. So that's not saying much though. That. <laughs> and then we have a few more jewelry boxes in here. Ooh, what is that? Fraternally yours. All right. Brooch. Looks like brooches, yeah. I don't know. I never know when they find jewelry boxes. It's like what's inside of it is meant to be what's inside of it or is it just Another what they one. put in there? Yeah, like 14K overlay again. So this is a brooch. Both of the 14K ones are brooches and clip-on earrings. So the clip-on earrings hmm. means it's old. That's true. All right, so in here. More oh, brooches. What's this? You see this? Yeah. What is that little thing? Uh, that's a knife. Look how tiny it is. That's like gotta be one of the smallest pocket knives I think I've ever laid eyes on. Yeah, this is a whole bunch of jewelry in here. So let's put these back in here and put this out the way and see what's under it. I'll put that down here for now. What is this? The bond hon. The bond. That's fun yeah. to say. It's more jewelry. But they seem to have a thing for earrings over other pieces of jewelry. I feel like I'm finding a lot of earrings and brooches and things like that instead of usually necklaces and rings. It sounds it's like eight. earrings. What is that? They look like chicken feet. Don't they? Yes. <laughs> That's, That's weird. Like weird. All right. What's Those age? Things. The, the type of jewelry you're finding. She's oh, clearly an older lady. Oh, look. There's like a pearl type Ooh. necklace right there. What does it say on it? Sarah. Sarah Coventry. We found her before. Yep. Sarah Coventry jewelry. I remember that name. Uh -huh. I know who likes pearls. Cindy Otwell likes pearls. <laughs> Empty. Let's see right here. Leather little jewelry box. Ooh, look at those. This one says Ronte of Beverly Hills. The black one? Yeah. And that is also in there. So we're finding a lot of jewelry, like a hoard of jewelry in this so far. Let's see. Look, let's yeah, get this out the way. So that's like, I guess, where they keep their pieces separate so they can craft their own jewelry right there. Let's just check that over here. And look down in here. There's a lot more jewelry. Ooh, look at all these boxes. 
Look at all these bags. Holy crawl. <laughs> Man. Look at this. Look at this. What are these? Ooh, look at that. This is a good box. Yeah, no kidding. Ooh. Well, that's a cool looking jewelry. That's weird. It is. So then we got, oh look, even more. And some of the older jewelry can be real gold even though it's not marked because they didn't always do that. Just like also if you get something customized, like say you have a wedding ring and you lose some weight and you have to get it sized down, they could actually lose the little marking inside. So oh, true. Just because it's not marked doesn't mean it's 100% fake. 80 to 90% of the time, it means it is, but there's always a 10 to 20%. You don't want to gamble with gold. Always check all your jewelry. So these are a lot more pearls down here. Let's get this stuff out the way. Is this all more in here? What's in this red one? Oh, that one looks velvety, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's see. Whoa. Well, something just flew out. Well, it's That's in the pretty. tote, it's fine. Yeah, it's all in here. We'll all remember it all. That's pretty cool. And if you look in here, it's even more just hordes of jewelry. Hordes of jewelry. What does that say? 19 something. I can't even tell. Hard. You? Yeah, I don't know. Me neither. This is, look, every bag in this box has jewelry in it. Literally, every kind. There's even rocks in there. Huh, this is a cool box. This is a lot of value here. So we'll set this one aside too, right there. You can see if there's anything else underneath of it. Oh yes, there is, look right here. This whole box is jewelry as well. This is crazy, look at this. That's all jewelry in here. We have more boxes here, this is the last box though. What's in this one? Oh, just stuffing? Boo. What about this one? Oh, this is their BS box. <laughs> yeah, one well, of the boxes, but look at all the actual jewelry in there. Hordes of it. We are going to have a lot of jewelry at our next uh, auction, guys. Let's get the tote that was under that tote. See if we have more jewelry now. Look how they tape this up. Give me the knife. Bang, pretty bang, nice. bang. Oh, look at it. It's got a white tiger on it and stuff. Yeah. I wonder whose knife that is, Mrs. Tiger. Me, me. Let's see. Did I not open it all the way? Where is it still stuck? Oh, the uh, co other corner. Ah, <laughs> you can't tape every side of it. Come on, I can't see over there. Open, open, open. Ah. There we go. This is all jewelry. Woo! Again. Oh. What do you see? No, well, don't I'm... touch it, don't touch it. Don't... I see it, I see it. You talking about that? Yeah, I just <laughs> see gold stuff. Let's grab it. <laughs> Okay, let's just grab it. I'm sorry, I was like freaking out for a second. Oh, what is that? That's a 20. D. Look. It's like a so golden coin in it. 1776 on it. Yeah, 1776, but obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's not a real coin. <laughs> but it, it looks, looks cool. cool. Yeah, it definitely looks cool. This looks like it has a bunch of earrings that you can like make or paint or something. That's exactly what that looks like. Yeah. A lot of them. Let me just set this right here. Gotcha. What's in here? More? Aww. Aww. Empty. An empty jewelry box minus a card. You love to wave in mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wave in the mirror. We have to do it. Empty box. Oh, no, that's not empty. I heard something. Oh, look. Aha. <laughs> that little thing. So let's see. I'm seeing a lot of jewelry. Look at this. Oh, we're talking. Cords. Look at this. This isn't even like close to being all. Look at all these. Look at this. It's still coming. Look at this. What's in here? What is that? Is that a little jewelry box? Oh, I buttons. Buttons. Control. But look at all these like pearl looking necklaces. Look at this. I have too many. Let's see what's in that box. I'm going to take that out really quick. Ooh, I hear something too. Let me gently set those back down so they don't get hurt. Are you okay, little necklaces? Anything under that? Nope. Let's see what's in this last little box. Ooh, look at that. Even more. Man, these two totes right here, that's gotta be several hundred dollars worth of jewelry, easily. Before I get the next box, can I just point out like that we literally haven't even made a dent in this unit? Like seriously, there's like hundreds more boxes here. We literally haven't even made a dent. I love this. Yeah, hold on. Before he goes through that box, I was even looking back there I see a tip of a box that you can barely see, and over here is a box. Like I see no furniture except for like these little 
can't remember what those are called, but there's virtually no furniture. It's yeah. like 95% boxes. At least it appears that way. Yeah, it appears to we, be no furniture. We could get back there and all those boxes could be sitting on a dirty couch. You never know, but we'll see. I'm staying positive. Yeah. Let's see what's in here. And open. <laughs> well, we got a screwdriver kit. It's missing some screwdrivers. What is this stuff? More Albeda computer software? That's what it looks like. Whoa. Uh, Look floppy how many disc. floppy, this whole box. This is literally floppy disks. nothing but floppy disks. Like really, really sculpture, JPEGs. Like this is a super, I mean, I don't think there's a person that, alive that would buy this from me. This is most likely, unfortunately gonna have to go to the dump. Check this box out. It's literally a metal box with some cardboard taped over top of it. I gotta say, this is the first for me finding a box like that. Let's see what they put in there. What does it even say? Oh. Off. OFC JD Docs. If it's more floppy disk, I'm suing you people. <laughs> Going right to the prison cell, I'm suing. <laughs> Ew. Really? really? What is it? Empty it's coffee jar. pots. This is what I was talking about earlier. I told you, like, when you get these movie companies to take the whole house, they pack everything, including your empty coffee containers. This box just says 1998 on it. 1998 in a name that you don't see right now. It doesn't exist. All right. It might exist, but it's all right. It's not like this information is not it. public domain, so <laughs> it's not like I'm hiding it. Boy. Well, is that their will? Yeah, yep. this is their will. What is it going to say? I would like all the stolen merchandise I have to go to my lovely kids, and I want all the stolen credit card information to go to my husband. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'll look through these, because look, this is like a bond fund thing. So some of these envelopes here, could have some interesting stuff in it. Look at this. This was a bank deposit of $135 like 30 years ago. So no telling what could, but let me look at this. Let me just look at one of these envelopes here. This is the kind of stuff that we have to go through off camera because this is where you'll find like a random, like last year, you know, we found like the random silver certificate, red seal bills, old $10 bills. Look how old these look. What's the postmark? Is there a date on it? It doesn't. Uh, night. February 4th, 1980. So not as old as I was thinking. But I guess they just age. Like they look really aged, but they're not that old. Got us another box. Let's see what's in this one real quick. Open tape, open. Not marked with anything this time. Yeah, it has no markings on it. Let's see, maybe that means they didn't want anyone to know what was in here. Cause this is full of gold and hundred dollar bills. And actually it looks like books. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a lot of books. A lot of books, textbooks to be exact. Once again, might be worth a lot of money, might be junk. And make sure you come back next time to see the rest. Peace out.